Hello and welcome to opening trap number 17. My name is Mauri and this is three nights of fun. So this will be a lot of fun for white and it will be played in the so-called three nights opening. Um, that's where the name comes comes from. So after e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, we have the so-called three nights game or three nights opening. And if black plays knight f6, it would be the four knights. But he's going to play g6 and now white will play the move d4. And black is going to react correctly by playing the move e takes d4 now. And here white will set his trap. He's actually not going to play the best move. The best move would be the most obvious one, knight takes d4. But white will play the move knight d5. It's not quite as strong, but this will set the trap. And it's fairly easy to fall into this trap actually. Uh, black will make some fairly logical uh, looking moves that will that will uh, uh, lead to this trap. So after the move bishop g7, white plays bishop g5 and already now black has uh, to make a decision. He only has one good move actually. And if he plays for example the move f6, he's not lost or anything, but it is a very weakening move. And after bishop f for white is simply considerably better because that pawn on f6 is is quite misplaced and it already weakens the black king quite a fair bit so that's that's f6 um other options for black if you place knight f6 which is a mistake then white simply has the move e5 taking advantage of that pin and and this will win at least a piece and white is just completely winning here so that's no good um and then if he plays knight g e7 he is also lost and we'll look at this move uh, in a little bit more detail in a moment but i'll also show you the only correct move for black which was the move knight c e7 here black is actually fine believe it or not um, because he can kick away those white attacking pieces he can play the move c6 to drive away the knight on d5 and he can play h6 to to try to drive away the bishop on g5 so black is basically just fine here but after the obvious looking move knight g e7 white um, is actually already winning and i'm going to show you why because uh, it may not be that obvious white will now play the move knight takes d4 and let's look at black's options to understand why he is lost also what is white threatening white has a fairly simple threat his threat is to take on c6 because that knight on c6 is defending the knight on e7 so once we take on c6 we can afterwards take on e7 and win at least a piece and even the black queen so that's the threat and let's see um, why none of black's options uh, are going to be enough to stop this starting with the move f6 um, which is actually the best move if i'm if i'm not mistaken but it's not good enough because, well, first of all, it's just losing a pawn. And I'm going to show you in a, in a moment why uh, black is, is, in, is in a lot of trouble in this line as well. Uh, white uh, simply takes this pawn, of course. Um, if, if black moves the king, then after knight takes c6, b takes c6 and queen f3, um, the black king is just too weak and uh, white can castle on the queen side, white can put the bishop on c4 and he's already threatening all sorts of discovered checks by moving this knight here. So this is a winning position. After, um, after knight takes f6, if black takes, um, white takes of course, and rook f8, and now white plays the very simple move bishop g5, just keeping that pin and white is a pawn up and also his pieces are going to come flying out very easily um, white can castle on the queen side which i think would be quite strong and then his pieces will just join the attack very soon whereas the black king will struggle to find safety so this is a winning position um, and so we had the move here knight takes d4 and we've looked at looked at why f6 is not good enough for black what are black's other options if he takes on d4 
then white has the rather simple reply bishop takes e7 which wins the black queen so notice how the black queen has nowhere to go now and um, that's no good of course for black and now maybe the most obvious move the move that may seem quite good after knight takes d4 uh, because on the surface knight takes d4 actually looks like a mistake because can black not simply play bishop takes d4 um, and the answer is uh, not really because white has a very nice uh, win here as well and it's based on the move queen takes d4 very nice queen sacrifice if black accepts this sacrifice then he's going to be checkmated in only two moves and that's going to happen with knight f6 check king has to go to f8 and now bishop h6 checkmate like that so a very nice checkmate there and, a, and an excellent queen sacrifice and also for example um, if black tries to castle here there's also a forced checkmate uh, in that line after knight f6 first let's look at king g7 now there is a mate in two and there are two ways to do it and it's gone, going to involve a double check in both cases so knight h5 is a double check so the only move is to move the king to g8 in this case and then kiss of death on g7 and uh, also white uh, could have could have chosen knight e8 king g8 again only move and again uh, queen g7 kiss of death checkmate so after the move uh, castles knight f6 if he goes king h8 there is also actually a forced mate here starting with uh, yet another queen sacrifice actually the move knight g4 check so if he takes the queen then there is bishop f6 check only move is king g8 and knight h6 checkmate again excellent cooperation between those white pieces um, and a mating pattern worth memorizing with that uh, bishop and knight and yeah so knight g4 if he goes f6 then we can simply take if he goes king g8 here we have a mate again um, same kind of mate even though there's no pawn on f7 and if he takes then there is a very similar mate uh, like this king g8 and now just knight h6 checkmate so this is what i choose to call three knights of fun in the three knights game Hope you enjoyed watching this. Maybe you can do it in one of your own games. And thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.